的介绍之旅。Good afternoon, and thank you for tuning in to the Raymond Hall Show. I am your host, Raymond Hall, and my equal co-host is here with me, Miss Erica Flynn Walker. Good afternoon, everyone. And how is everyone doing? We are grateful to have you join us again on the Raymond Hall Show. Here is where your service speaks. So we are going to have an exciting show. We have a lot of things going on across the nation, and it's some of it is service, and some of it we're just going to call disservice because、uh, if it doesn't serve the whole or the good of the community, then we've got to look at who it serves. It may be something that's self-centered and self-serving.、Um, Miss Walker、uh, yes, and I just left an event, and sometimes I have to say to you,、uh, the thing is true that、uh, God will bring good out of a bad situation. We had the we spoke to you about the passing of Mr. Robert Lee Gilliam. Yeah, he was in the armed forces. forces. He was in the army, and they had his home home going service today. And if it had not been for Miss Erica Walker. Uh, letting me know about it, then we would not have been able to participate in that ongoing service. So、and、service little, is important. Service is important.、Okay. And just a little caveat、uh, that his daughter told me it was a time when what was it that happened when they called you, mandated you to come? What was the name of it?、Uh, they drafted you. He was drafted.、Uh -huh. I was told by his daughter.、Mm -hmm. She was only four days old. He was twenty-four、wow. years old. Do they well, still? Uh, implement no, the draft? No, they don't do the draft right now. They, this is an, it's an all volunteer army, and、uh, it's it's it was a distinctive shift. Wow! When they went from、uh, the draft to all volunteer, there was a lot of questions and things about it. I do remember it. I was a much younger person,、um, so. That was something different. I hadn't heard that, and I thought that that was interesting for all you audience members and people listening to know that there was a time when, at 24 years old, a person would be called. Yeah. In the draft to go isn't, to serve. Isn't isn't youthfulness wonderful? <laughs> I mean, you just, to the viewing audience, youthfulness. Once we 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 people, I won't say old, but、right. we we people who have a few more years. We remember the draft.、Uh, it was one of those things where if you didn't go to school, if you didn't go to college or something like that, you were subject to the draft automatically. Automatically. Where did they get the names from? How did they know? Yeah. Uh, because everybody had to register,、okay. and it's not like、uh, it is today, where you just register to vote. Then, when you got eighteen, you did go and register, and when you registered, that let them know that you、um, was eligible for that draft. And、um, a lot of people got drafted a lot earlier than twenty-four. Oh, people really? People got drafted at eighteen, nineteen years old, and that kind of thing. So,、um, for him to serve the nation, and with the large turnout at his home. Ongoing service that mean that he gave service with the rest of his life, all of the children and grandchildren and aunts and uncles and everything. So it was really a moving experience.、Um, here again, for those of you who don't know,、uh, everyone that served during the Vietnam in the Vietnam era,、uh, President. Our recent past president Barack Obama、um, gave a citation for the Vietnam War era veteran. So, if you served during the period of 1963, I think it was to 1975, then you're of that war era and you deserve that pen. Don't hold me to the dates, ladies and gentlemen. I know it ended in 75, but I don't know about the 63 right now. It's been a long day.、Uh, so yes,、yeah, so thank you for that opportunity to yeah. It was a to, great opportunity、yeah. to serve in the capacity of just a friend、mm -hmm. and、uh, a sister and someone that can understand the time of bereavement. And I just want to say thank you to the family for allowing me to be of service to them. Thank you to Mr. Hall、mm -hmm. for showing up and representing in 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 a wonderful and magnificent way. Uh, based upon his time in the military and also just as a servant, and I appreciate him for that. I just wanted to make a point of that, and also、um, 
we look forward to this conversation because we always have some good hot topics. It's a different right. conversation. Right, right. That's right. Yeah. So um, <clears throat> we have a guest that's running a little late. Her name is B.B. Angola, and you are in for a treat. Now, we're going to back up just a little bit to move forward. Okay. Um, last week, we had Vermont Slauson Economic Development Corporation. Yes, we did. And one of the things that we just ran out of time to talk about was they're having a uh, – event in September. Yes, they are. And uh, it's make going to be at Los Angeles Trade Tech. It's going to be at Los Angeles Trade Tech. Okay. okay. And um, we're supposed to get some more information on that for the Los Angeles mm, Trade right, Tech. Right. It's going to be the launch of new business because Vermont Economic Development Corporation is based upon uh, starting a business, getting your business license, mm-hmm. and they're launching a new um, portion of their uh, business enhancement, which is what did he say it was going to be? Uh, well, I think he just he just sent it to us in his email. Okay. So if you'll bear with us, this is the time of economics. So while I'm talking, Ms. Walker can uh, look it up on her email and we can keep moving on. Uh, but we were remiss in talking about it. So see if it dropped in your email. Okay. Uh, uh, let's see if it comes up. And if it comes up, then we can all go through it and see what it is together. Uh, it's important because business is the economic engine of any community. So when you... Um, when you talk about the vibrancy of a community, you need to have a balance. You need to have an equal balance of community. Uh, you need to have an equal balance of of, of education access um, and education participation. And you also need to have a equal access to social consciousness because it's the social consciousness that will move you past what you have today into um, an understanding of tomorrow. So uh, this business, the Vermont Slauson Economic Development Corporation, Mm -hmm. it's what equips you. Not everyone is going to be equipped to work on somebody else's job. Somebody is going to be equipped to open up their own company so someone can work on a job provided to them. Or you will be a conduit for them to have a job. So uh, get involved in whatever economic engines or uh, business development is in your community. Uh, the Vermont Slauson Economic Development Com- um, Corporation is in South Los Angeles, uh, and it serves a greater part of the Los Angeles community, but there are also others that um, do the same thing. I think there's there's about seven others or that kind of thing. Right, right, right. And they're in all different various parts of Los Angeles where you can receive this um this um, cl- these uh, these classes on business sources and economics. So what we're going to be speaking of to now right now is the promotion. It's the food truck September twenty third, Los Angeles Trade Tech College. Learn about the ABCs of a mobile business, which is very up and coming nowadays. Of a mobile business. Of a mobile business. This is what type of business it is. Mm-hmm. Um, and it will be Fresh Works loan programs goes until the funds will run out from five thousand to thirty five thousand dollars. You must be able to demonstrate a healthy food component in their retail store for children or families in the retail setting. Mm -hmm. So um, Vermont's law sent, no, no. well, pretty much Terry Gubaton is the city of Los Angeles business source. It's operated by Vermont's law and economic corporation. Their number where there could be reached is 323-753-2335. If you like some information regarding the mobile retail and food truck business expo. So, you know, this is something that's that's hot and it's the new hot trend right now where people are going mobile. Mm-hmm. So it will be on set on also August the 8th, which is a Saturday. And um, that's when they had their last one, looks like. But uh, it will be at Los Angeles Trade Tech College, the main stage. The presentations will include making your business mobile, building your mobile retail food truck or cart, financing your mobile retail business, and an assortment of other ideas and things that you'll be able to do for um, economic progress and growth in your life. And, and you know, what's interesting is this is the first time I've heard of, work, of a workshop on uh, mobile right, right. food eateries. Okay. So it must be really growing. I know that they special, you have some that specialize um, in 
you know, the, 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 the trucks, different you, the different kind of cuisines. Right, right, right. But this is also retail. So it's not just for food. It's for retail. And the expo will include actual truck cart styles and uh, where you can you can decide, well, I want to have a retail store and they can go in and they'll help you to style the inside of this mobile business. Also, wow. marketing for mobile retail and food truck vehicle inspection and planning. Also, you'll learn how to put your business plan together. So all these things will be included in this uh, new uh, program that they're going to be offering, which is a business expo coming up in September. Now, does it have a date? Does it have the a date specific is, date the on date it? The date is September. Okay. So uh, the date is September 23rd at the Los Angeles Trade Tech College. OK, so September 23rd, everybody get down to Los Angeles Trade Tech College that's interested in learning more about uh, the food truck business, whether it's uh, goods or restaurant uh, entrepreneurs and those kind of things. OK, so um, we are going to shift focus and I'm going to go to another current event while Miss Walker look at another current event. Um, we're going to shift gears now to, um, and I just about forgotten about this one, about the VA clothing allowance. Now, uh, often we talk about uh, the VA and disabilities and those kind of things. If you have a disability where um, it affects your, um, the clothes that you wear, in other words, if they wear out quicker or... What type uh, of disability? Give me an example of a disability. Um, in my case, uh, I have, um, how shall I say it, uh, certain, certain material can make me itch. Okay. And because I have to freak, get the clothes clean more frequently, they weigh out quicker. Okay, okay. So the VA gives a clothing allowance. A clothing allowance. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. Now that's in and on top of whatever compensation you're already getting. But the clothing allowance only comes once a year, and you have a certain time frame by which you have to apply for that clothing allowance. Mm -hmm. Well, that clothing allowance is open right now. It says, uh, did you know that you may be eligible? eligible for an annual clothing allow uh, clothing allowance uh, if you use a uh, prosthetic orthopedic appliance or if you have medication to serve as a um, uh, an ointment or something for your skin okay so if you have those things then you are entitled to or you can apply you can to see apply. if you're eligible for this clothing allowance. It's a one-time, once-a-year allowance, but you have to apply during a certain period. So um, let's help each other out here. Um, girlfriends, help your boyfriends. Boyfriends, help your girlfriends. If you know about it, it's, it's not something that everybody would talk about. It might not be even something that uh, you've discussed with everyone. But if you're the veteran and you know about it, then at least uh, look into whether this is an eligible benefit. Sounds good. That sounds like a you know a, another uh, additional resource that someone could always use. You know, I never heard anybody say I don't need no no more money. <laughs> you know, so this is a this is another resource, not just the money. Something else that you can add the value to your life. If you know someone that's a veteran or a neighbor that's that knows someone, just get the word out. And if you're just in a conversation, you know, mention it, and you never know, it may be uh, something that you can pass on to someone. Okay. Now, if you want to find out more information, you can go to your VA centers, uh, your medical centers, that kind of thing, or you can go to the web at www.prosthetics.va.gov forward slash P-S-A-S clothing. Okay. So... Just go to the, either one of those and uh, inquire about it. I've been trying to be calm about this thing, but um, is Washington getting any better? All I can do is just take a deep breath right now on it because yesterday I was um, trolling the Internet, which is what I do, and I was alarmed to see that there's a representative, and he was just, his name is Representative King, and he... Um, is just blatant mm -hmm. in his disregard for a certain population of the people. And so what we'd like for each and every one of you to do is um, tune in at Facebook, 
um, to the Raymond Hall Show, and we will be having some further information in, in, regarding this subject matter. But, um, you know, you just need to be abreast of your current events so that you can um, be aware of what's going on in our communities right now. Okay. And we are going to take a really quick break, and we will be right back. We'll be right back, everyone. Thanks. All right, and we are back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for your patience for the long pause. As I told you, we have a special treat today. We have Miss B.B. Angola, and she is accomplished on many levels. Um, I want to say she's definitely a friend, and she is also an educator. She retired from the Paramount School System, and she went on to teach in Hawaii. Teaching just is just her thing across the globe. She's also an author. She wrote a book called The Gentle Red Pen and she's also a developer. Uh, I watched her build houses, so I am, it's, there's many, we, we could talk all day uh, about Miss BB, uh, BB Miss Angola. Angola. She she uh, she told me a story some years ago that I never forgot, and we're short on time. But I just I, you know the Raymond Hall show. I, I got to have a minute. Yes. Uh, she <laughs> told me how when she first started, she had a carton of apples and her only son in the back seat, and she had some trouble with the car. And I looked at her, and I saw that day when the construction people had to stop and help you push the car out of the way and with the apples in the sun and look at her today. <laughs> her today. She's a world travel person. She definitely is uh, I can't say too much. So welcome to the show. Welcome, BB. Thank you. It's a great Thank you. Okay. To have you here. Uh, we're working on a short schedule, so we're going to get right into it. Uh, you want to share with us about generational wealth. Now, talk to us about that. Okay, well, <laughs> there's a few things. Uh, we as black people, okay, um, just we live from hand to mouth. Most people in America at this point are living from hand to mouth, but particularly black people, if you really think about it, imagine not having a hundred dollars extra a month every month, just a hundred dollars. Okay, you just you're destined to just stay in slavery. Okay, you just we're just we're just going to be slaves in right. the same sidewalks that our parents walked will walk and then our kids will walk and it's if you really step back a minute and look we we get nowhere okay right. and there there are many people who at the end of the month don't have a hundred dollars don't have 50 don't yeah. have 20 don't have yeah. zero and I, I i got to say at one point in my life that 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 was a situation with me we all have been you know all yeah. Been, yeah yeah yes. you yeah. know okay so there are several things um I bought just one of mine. I just happen to have one of my. Oh, she just happened okay. to have. Happen to have one. <laughs> okay. uh, money saving tips, but I'm, okay. I, okay. it's not to plug it, but it's to tell you that it's very practical, and I just want to break it down. Okay. okay. Basically, one of my first things is I would start with, people need to learn to save a dollar a day. That's my. I've been saying that for years. Have, have you been doing it? Yes, I have, and I've started. Just a dollar a day. A dollar a day. Well, it should be. Uh, I'm, I'm, let me just. For people that. Let's just start at the beginning, a dollar a day. I would really say at this stage of the game, we should be doing five dollars a day. Okay. Uh -huh. But I'm going to say a dollar a day to get you started mm -hmm. okay. because there are 365 days, days in a year. year. Yes. Okay. So at the end of the year, mm -hmm. and it's when it's Christmas, New Year's Eve, we say Happy yeah, New Year's. Right. We don't even have 365 dollars. Right. Uh -huh. So all this impulse spending, we go to the store. When we get to the store, they deliberately put gum, lifesavers. No knickknacks right there. That's called impulse buying. You're right. So hmm. we just automatically just grab and just blow a dollar on a bottle of water that costs nothing. Right. Or, you know, we'll buy some chips or something. And right. It's called impulse buying. Okay. There goes that dollar a day. Okay. So when we save a dollar a day, I am suggesting that it's not quarters. It has to be a paper dollar. Okay. Okay. You know, a paper dollar a day. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, you know, it should be kept in something very inconspicuous like uh like a, a coffee mate thing mm -hmm. like that. A tin, or, something tin, you're mm -hmm. saying? It could be tin or plastic, tin or but plastic. something okay. that you would think is nothing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And just, just and if you're in bed, say, oh, my God, I forgot my dollar. Right. Mm -hmm. Get up and put it in there, and yep. you will be surprised. It will, once you start, once you have like, like $50, it's only $50. Right. However, 
the discipline of that, mm -hmm. you would be amazed mm -hmm. um, what happens. Um, so when I when I first started this that program with a lot of people, mm -hmm. I got so many reports from from different people. Okay. Um, I know I myself when I started doing it, I had like I shocked myself. I was like at the end, um, I have this like party, like right. okay, open it up yeah. and you dump your money out. Right. And I had seven thousand dollars. Wow. Mm. I need to start writing, ladies yes. and gentlemen. Yes. I need to start. I should be <laughs> host right how now. Long, I should be student. Well, that was 7000 That was yeah. one day. That one was, year. One year. That was one year. I started, you know, like what people don't like. There's so many things. Like when, when you get a raise, don't take your raise. Right. When you, when you get a raise, call up your financial planner and have him or her automatically put that into your account so that you're not feeling it. So that, uh, you know, uh, when, I, when I left teaching, I was on a much higher salary schedule than I realized because I was still down here because I never took the raises. Okay. Mm. So, you know, I didn't realize, for example, I was saving 2000 a month. Wow. Because mm. I had gotten, and that wasn't my, my, I don't call it a piggy bank, I call it a biggie bank. A biggie bank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Biggie yeah. Bank. I like okay. that biggie okay. bank. Okay. I like that biggie so, bank. So, yeah, you know, and so, you know, you will be surprised um, what happens when you be, you, you can trick yourself into mm -hmm. saving. And I mean, I do all these little tricks, and they work. They do that's work. What, that's people, what, that brought us to the, the where you said two you. And then save $2 bills. Wow. You see, $2 bills are better than you have you, when you go to the bank. Because they have them. People just don't ask. Right. You know, so you say, excuse me, do you have any $2 bills? And they say, well, I have uh, 10 which is $20. Okay, may I have them? Mm -hmm. So when I travel or whatnot, when I travel a lot, I give a $2 bill for a tip or mm -hmm. sometimes two, and that's cheaper than a five. So you're still saving money and you're becoming memorable, and they love it. And they love They're it. They're like, oh, $2 bill. Okay. <laughs> so, they, you know, which now, has a black man on the back of it, you know. That oh, really? No, Long I didn't know Dick that. Gregory, yeah. When they had the Continental Congress before... The, George Washington was not the first president of the United States. We know that, mm -hmm. or maybe I hope. Mm -hmm. And you know, before the United States became the United States, there was a Continental Congress. Right. Continental Congress had their own head presidents too before it was declared. 1776. Right. United States was functioning. Mm -hmm. So there, if you look on the back of a two dollar bill, if you might use a uh, you know magnifying, magnifying glass. glass that you can see that he's shaded in. If I can't think of his name off the top of my head, but that's just a little tidbit. When you, when you check it out and Google Thanks it, Thanks for see that tidbit. All of you that. audience yeah. members, I hope I you take the time that. to now, listen to TV. <laughs> is that a part <laughs> of the up? creative gifts and ways to trick yourself into wealth? Is that is that was um, that a part of it, or is that something different? Well. That's part of it, a little okay. part of it, the idea of the $2 bills, but mm -hmm. I was going to, but in terms of the creative gifts mm -hmm. and going back, let me just go back to the generational wealth okay. Okay. so I can expound on that. Mm -hmm. Okay. I brought with me, I thought you might just want to see it, for mm -hmm. example, mm -hmm. this is a, um, these are my parents. Okay. Okay. And that's my mom and my mm -hmm. father. And I recently um, decided my one of my brothers, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to tell you what's inside okay. of that in a minute. Mm -hmm. That's can you guys see that? Mm -hmm. um, That's BB's family. Mm -hmm. And I'm suggesting this for other families. This one, I'm, I'm, and this is the first time I'm actually sh kind of sharing this mm -hmm, mm -hmm, openly mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I'm going to do some things. I'm going to show you some things in the book in a minute here if I can mm -hmm. see it. Mm -hmm. um, when we talk about generational so, wealth, like LLC. <laughs> yes, this mm -hmm. this is what I did. My brother passed away, because um, I've been doing this for years, mm -hmm. but now I've decided to formalize it. What generational wealth means is that when you pass on, when you make your transition to the other side, mm -hmm. for example, usually people just cry, they have a repast, you eat food, and then everybody goes back and drives back home or flies back home or whatever they do. Mm -hmm. That's the end of it until the next Family reunion, family the reunion death in the family. or next death or in the family. That's the or wedding. Or two wedding. major times we get together. Mm -hmm. Isn't that the truth? It's the mm -hmm. truth. Weddings mm -hmm. or death. Or death. Everyone and, and comes. Reunion and reunion. Reunion. That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. So reunions. People have jokingly talked about funerals as being like reunion time. It is. You know. So I was sitting at my my brother that recently passed, and I said, "Just the end of this. You know, this is the end of this." And I had been. I've been seeing other families do it, the Rockefellers, the, du the Trumps, mm -hmm, the mm -hmm. DuPots, the Mellons, mm -hmm. Anderson Cooper's family, you know, Gloria Van Vanderbilt, his mother, and all the rest of them do it. What this is, I'm going to share it with you. I put it, just so you can see, this is 
my a picture of my father. Okay. Mm-hmm. And my father died when I was six years old. Okay. Mm-hmm. But nevertheless, I decided to put him put him so I didn't know him that well. I knew him a little bit. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I decided to put him first, even though I know my my mother obviously more, back to the head of the family. Yes. Mm-hmm. First person as opposed to my mother. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So in my trunk of my car there are ten of these. And okay. that's my mom. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that's my mom's mom. Mm-hmm. And I'm getting ready to, right now, get. Uh, my father has two sisters. Okay. Mm-hmm. And his mother was, and that's my mom's. He said, these are, and that's something, in, what I'm telling you is that, um, I'll just explain it to you. And, uh, and this is this was my own personal book, so don't this next page. Don't even pay attention. Okay. The, the mm-hmm. other people don't have this. Okay. This next page just is your is, personal, right? That's my okay. personal. So forget that. That's you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's why I'm saying that. That's, <laughs> no, that's why I that's said. Busy. That's why I said. We that's, all have a picture. That's why like I said. That's, I, that's, that's yeah. I have to tell the truth. Some of the pictures I've seen. <laughs> I haven't that's seen not, that. Yeah, I'm not sure. It's, 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 it's not about this okay. either. I was like, right, right, right. Okay, 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 okay. But I want to tell you is that this yeah. is a, a teaching degree mm-hmm. from my aunt. It says colored on it. Wow. From mm-hmm. 1933, so she could mm-hmm. teach colored children. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. In Georgia. Mm-hmm. And she got 89.9. Mm-hmm. And I just, and that's something. So in the back of this book, Mm-hmm. I have my fam- my fa- my mom, my grandmother. Mm-hmm. You have a group photo that, right there. They, they, these aren't my family members. I'm not even sure all of them. I just asked my grandma. Okay. Mm-hmm. And they all hate raising their hands saying, you know, they got some kind of degree. Right. So right. that's the back side of this picture. Okay. Of this here. Mm-hmm. So in terms of generational wealth, mm-hmm. I gave the backdrop. This is our family. This is our logo. It's going to be eventually put in an oval shape when we have mm-hmm. a mission statement okay. and a purpose. Mm-hmm. And we meet once a month. Okay. Telephonically, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and I I chose uh, just a second. I chose nine nephews and nieces okay. that I felt were, shall I say, fiscally responsible. Okay. Mm-hmm. So what we're doing is saving a hundred dollars a month, like a scholarship fund. No. No. Like an investment fund. Investment fund. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Right. okay. Right. Investment fund. Mm-hmm. Right. Mm-hmm. For, this is how you create generational wealth. Um, and, and and this anyway, I can explain that. I just wanted to show you. Okay. I, I wanted them to know the root to this. You 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 so say. So that's the generational wealth is to plan and do something that will go over generationally. Yeah, and how you do it is this: you with. save a hundred dollars a month. That's just the. I'm just giving you the backdrop so you can see pictures. Of okay. Them Get a visual. Mm-hmm. Right. Save a hundred dollars a month. Okay. Okay. And in this particular case, there are ten of us per mm-hmm. person. That's a lot to have per person. Okay. Mm-hmm. And that's a lot to have. T- you know, get ten people together to agree on anything. Yes, mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. So they had to drop egos. All of us mm-hmm. were all ten percent, including myself. Okay. Mm-hmm. My gift to my nephews and nieces is my time mm-hmm. and my wisdom, mm-hmm. and I'm going to guide them there. Right. Mm-hmm. And so we save a hundred dollars a month. So there's ten of us. That's a thousand dollars a month. Mm-hmm. A month. Mm-hmm. Okay. And right now we are in the month of. July. This is July, mm-hmm. okay, and we have eight thousand dollars. Wow! Okay, beautiful. already because the kids were so excited. I say kids, they're rising in their thirties, you know? <laughs> right, right, right. Mm-hmm. but they're kids, right, they're kids, right? right. And they're so excited. Oh, baby, mm-hmm. I want to pay up in advance. Mm-hmm. So they, they, some of them are paying in advance. Mm-hmm. So what we're doing is we're saving hundred dollars a month. So that's twelve thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Next year, we've all committed to. I, I just this came to me, you know. God just kind of gave me this vision. We're saving two. Thousand two hundred dollars a month, mm-hmm. so that's uh, twenty four hundred dollars each person. Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's twenty four thousand dollars. Right. Mm-hmm. So twenty four thousand dollars plus twelve thousand dollars is thirty six thousand right. dollars. Mm-hmm. Right. Now by then they're used to saving money, and I'm telling this for other people to like to let I'm to pa- catch on. To catch yeah, on. Yeah, I'm right, right, right. I'm, we want I'm, you to I'm listen to this, this invest, and investment it, club. What we're mm-hmm. doing. Mm-hmm. That's what it is. And the third year, we've committed to three hundred dollars a month, which mm-hmm. is a lot. But by then, uh, that's why I'm doing it. So that's why I said a dollar a month. Right. Later on, I didn't a want to tell A dollar a day to start off, and then you a add, and then mm-hmm. you right. eventually get to a hundred dollars mm-hmm. a month. Mm-hmm. Then you make well, a commitment. A hundred. That's that's on the side. Okay. In other words, that's just something you just do. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This in addition, that's in right, addition. In addition, right? Because mm-hmm. eventually, uh, you know, eventually you'll have probably five. I don't know this all. Eventually, you'll have probably five different. 
things you're putting into, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Right, right, right. right. What you really, what you really got to go okay. on once for your vacation. That's, mm-hmm. that's, that's pretty interesting you know? because um, not only have you covered the individual saving, but you looked at it collectively as a family. Yes. That's right. Too. And the one, so the that's wealth right. is inside of the family. That's right. Uh, um, I, 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 I don't, I didn't hear and I don't need to hear what, the, uh, what, what you would do? save it with, no, but just to know buy, that no, the I want you to know. I, no, this is I want. This is not. This is something I want people to steal this, it. Yes, you do know, it because yeah. I. Do yes. I, I'm, I'm giving this away, you yeah, know, and yeah. so you know, and we're, we're buying property. Okay. So you know, the family, you guys collectively came together and said, "This is what we're going to do once we once we save the money." That's right. Right. That's the same thing I I proposed right. to my mom, uh, and you know, a lot Erica of people in Georgia. We have, chose in Georgia. You uh-huh. chose Georgia yeah, is we, where you're going to make the purchase. Yeah, mm-hmm. well, for our, for our initial purchase, so we've chose Georgia because, um, well, because I bought a house down there, uh-huh. so um, I'm, I'm not there. It's empty. I have people staying in it off and on for okay. me, but that's going to be my base. So and I checked out the prices and they're mm-hmm. reasonable. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So with them having uh, twelve thousand dollars, uh, not them, us having thirty six thousand and eventually seventy two thousand, you don't even need that much, right? Mm-hmm. You know, you can purchase something like you can buy, for example, an eight unit building in Georgia for one hundred and fifty thousand mm-hmm. dollars. Really? And people don't know that. Mm-hmm. You know, people don't realize it because we're just so. Stuck on California. Mesmerized on California, right. But the money, you can take a property in California, buy an eight-unit building, get some people to fix up some walls, rent it out and keep the building, and you'll be bringing in a good $1,000 a month extra that you're not working for. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, after all is said and done, Mm -hmm. taxes are very low Mm -hmm. and just lots of things. And so people don't realize we need to diversify. So what we're going to do eventually, our ultimate goal, each person in my in our group Mm -hmm. is going to own a building, at least one. Yeah. So, you know, they're going to each have their own building. Uh, buildings and then eventually we're gonna we might go you know might go public Mm -hmm. you know we don't know where it's gonna go we're looking at commercial we're buying we're buying commercial we're buying land Mm -hmm. Uh, because I've have experience building we Mm -hmm. might build Mm -hmm. we might do triple net which Mm -hmm. is you know when you buy like a strip I'm looking at strip malls malls. Mm -hmm. yeah because that's triple net income which they pay their rent I mean, they pay the mortgage. I've experienced taxes. one of those. Mm-hmm. And then sure. I had a computer company, and I was in a triple net. Right. The man downstairs cooked turkeys. Mm-hmm. My gas bill was because uh, was paying for his oven to cook the turkeys. Exactly. <laughs> and then on the other end, it was a beautician. Mm-hmm. She was fixing hair. Right. So you were paying fixing it? turkeys, you were paying fixing them. hair. I'm, right. I'm, I paying just got a computer company. Yes. No, no, and no. I'm you were supposed the, to. Triple net is when they pay it. Right. No, Not no. net income for for you. You should have had them. That's what that's the beauty of it. They no, pay I mean anything. I was a tenant like they were. Oh, yeah. oh. And see, I didn't I didn't feel it. Oh. Yeah, I didn't feel it when the building was full. Mm-hmm. Oh. But when we had the earthquake yes. in in the valley, mm-hmm. yes. I North was out there. In Northridge, Irkirk. In Northridge, Irkirk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I lived in Santa Clarita. Okay. Oh. Seventy percent of that building moved. But the turkey man and the hair lady did move. <laughs> <laughs> they stayed there. My my utility bill went through the roof. Okay, on the triple net. Wow. Look, uh, for the sake of sake of time, we're we uh, let's let's shift gears here. Uh, what about? I really want yes, to talk about the about the yeah. We can come back. Uh, talk to us about the prison industry for a little bit. We got about. A little less than fifteen minutes. Okay, before I do real fast, I want to just make one, one more plug in about money. Okay, because that's really because the prison is gonna. That's a whole nother. I want to tell you about the movie I'm doing. But okay. real fast, I brought this because I thought this would be some. Again, uh, I'm very interested in black people understanding money. Okay, yes. you know, uh, uh, one of the things I've also gotten into is gold and silver. Okay, yes. of, of which we don't know anything about a lot mm-hmm. of times. But I just want to show you something here, Raymond. In fact, you can open it. You'd be the one to open it. I would be the one to open yeah, it. Yeah, to open okay. it. Um, this is this, for example, I talked about creative gifts. I yes. think mm-hmm. I said in there. Mm-hmm. So, in reference to gifting, when you take your gold, your money, right? mm-hmm. you know, and you're going out buying your little children a gift, mm-hmm. a piece of plastic, something or something or other. Okay. Like that, you know, you might want to think about buying a gift like this. Okay. United States Mint American Liberty 225 anniversary 
silver medal. Okay. Okay, I didn't bring the gold because okay. I was a little too expensive to bring it here. <laughs> okay. Right, right, right. <laughs> okay, so, and, oh, um... Notice the packaging. Yes, packaging is beautiful. <laughs> okay. And we still open it up. And we still open it up. Stay with us, audience members. <laughs> okay. All right. And we're still going. Let me open this part for you. Okay. That's a booklet that comes with it. But you, it's official. It. It's also official. United States. This is from the Mint, you guys. You see wow. this? United States Mint. Here, take this. You see off. that? Look at who it is. And it has the seal and everything on it. American Liberty 225th Anniversary Silver Medal. And let me take wow. it out so you can actually. Well, let's see. Can you see that? Okay, so um, I want you to see this. Okay. Hold, hold it like that, okay? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you don't as much. So anyway, okay, this is a silver. Look what it is. It's a black woman. It's a black. Oh, this is the one I've heard about. Mm -hmm. And she has hold her it like this. She has corn. She has yeah. corn rolls. Corn, yes, and that's that's sixty dollars. Is that right? You see? You see now that? who is that? This is a this is an African American woman with cornrows. If you can if you can zoom in and you can see it, she she was a finalist for uh, one of, for one of the models uh -huh. initially for the Statue of Liberty. Okay. In France. Okay. And so they got uh, it hold it like in, this. it was she, mended she in seventeen ninety two. No, that that just came out. Oh, uh, just that came that out. came out um, June sixth. Okay. Well, okay. evidently she can't pick and it up. We'll have to shoot it and put it online. Oh, okay. But isn't that something? This yeah. is $60. Yes. Yeah. And okay. I remember okay. hearing and, about that. And see, and this is one piece of silver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And imagine a beautiful gift to give someone symbolically. And they're coming out one with a Latino woman. Mm -hmm. And they're coming out one with a Native American woman. And they're mm -hmm. coming out one with an Asian woman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the black woman was first. Okay. Wow. And I also have... A, well, a couple of these in gold, okay. mm -hmm. and like this is fifty nine dollars and um, ninety five cents. Okay, mm -hmm. the gold initially was fifteen dollars, uh, mm -hmm. fifteen hundred mm -hmm. and forty dollars, and okay. now it's sixteen hundred and ninety dollars. Wow! Well, in, so in it months. has appreciated it, in, yeah. in, in this period. And these of time. are collectors' items, collectors. and the and the gold was for is a hundred dollar. It, it says a hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. For uh, the denomination, mm -hmm. obviously, it's more, more more than that. It's it's, it's gold, right? Okay. All right. Gold. So this is something that you would ensure that you would pass down as a gift versus giving well, someone cash or a, a literal gift. Mm -hmm. Right. It's sixty dollars. It's sixty dollars. Mm -hmm. You That's see, it. I mean, how, when have you ever seen a black woman on a coin? It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah, it, is. You know? it is. It is. It is. And then look at this real fast. Yeah. Well, we got to, to we 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 got to move on, BB. Okay, uh, but these are so. I want the people to see these because these are things are gifts. Look. Okay. Wow. That's President Obama. That's incredible. Okay. Wow. Forty dollars. Forty dollars. That's impressive. Yes. Wow. And it has a stand. That is impressive. And you can. Mm. So oh my God! I and love it. And people don't know that these things are out here. That's yeah. Now, where did you get this at? U.S. Mint. U.S. Mint. This Mint. is all from the U.S. Uh -huh. Mint. Okay. See what a beautiful and it says the single is? most powerful word in our democracy is the word we. Uh -huh. And it's signed by our president, our ex, our, you know. Recent past recent president. Recent past president, President Barack Obama. Uh -huh. And they have them uh -huh. for the first term and second term. Yes. Okay. And that's the, that's the, what, first term, second term? That's the first term one. Okay. All so, right. and the reason I'm, I know you're saying about the prison, but that's going to be a whole nother thing. And I just have to show you this. Yeah. This is a bag of Frederick Douglass quarters that wow. just came out. Mm, and that you came know? from the men as well. Yes. So how do we find out this information? Mm -hmm. yeah. How do we know? We go to the men. Go to the U.S. Mint. Go to the U.S. Uh, Mint. And this is the way you yeah, go to the, you just go online, usmint.gov. Okay. And they have Tuskegee Airmen, Jesse Owens, Martin Luther King. Are these Loretta solid Scott gold? These are, are they $6 solid? $6.95. Okay. Right. Uh -huh. These are $6. Uh huh. Those are okay. $7 gifts. So you'll make your, make your children, here's Tuskegee Airmen, see here? Mm -hmm. so here's the Little Rock, the kids that got killed, his, uh, President Obama, 695, right, 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 the smaller right, one. Right. See, so okay. these are things that you, that you can, can give that your, that your, kids. You can give your yeah. kids. and your right. kids, and they yeah. can and keep they, this. And make, and make them research yeah. right. and learn. So that's why I said about it's tricking. It's like a yeah. history lesson as well. Yeah. Exactly. As so that's well the part about tricking yourself into into uh, um, creative ways. Well, yeah, that's creative not that's the $2 bills. That's yeah. the yeah, creative gifts. Okay. All right. 
Yeah. Oh wow, that's that's impressive. That's beautiful. See? And yeah. this is at the all yeah. you have to do is go to the mint, which a lot of us we normally that's not somewhere that we would be googling exactly. or going to on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. But I think that this mm -hmm. is very, um, is very informational. It's a new place for us to touch bases with, just to get more familiarized with what is really going on and what's right at the tip of our fingers, which is all of this. Um, all of this great and informative from the United States Mint. We have some uh, coins and you know, it's just an opportunity for you and me and BB, and I really appreciate her for bringing this to our attention because I've never been gone to their website, the I mean, Mint. They mm -hmm. have a Mint downtown. Do I think they? we, yeah, we went to, we, um, well, <laughs> they took the state to and it wasn't like this this was where they keep the old money right 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 and it's just massive, massive. amounts of money stacked up on pallets that they're going to discard that, because it, yeah. you know they do they, yeah. they discard yeah. it after so long uh -huh. okay so um we are coming up on the last few minutes of the show um With talk the, to us about what's next for you well, as I told you, I'm working on a movie. I've never okay. done a movie before. Okay. And it's, in what capacity are you are you um, playing I'm, in the I'm, movie? I'm writing the. You're movie. writing I'm, the movie. I'm, okay. I'm doing a screen. Uh, a screenplay. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, I was recently on a, a jury duty. Mm -hmm. I was. Uh, I served uh, on a murder case. Mm -hmm. And um, as I told you, I can't tell you the name of the movie because I haven't copywritten it yet. Okay. okay. And I want to make sure when I research it that it's you know that. I can have that title because I've spoken to a few people about it and people really loved it. So I'm trying to pitch it. But what it's about basically is this. Um, our black men are going into jail and being beaten and killed at an alarming rate, mm -hmm. obviously, as we know, to the right. point that we're like almost filing our nail. Like, who, what, I thought that was, oh, this is another one. We can't keep up, mm -hmm. you know. And so I, when I served on a, on a jury duty recently, I was exposed to how the system runs. Y yes, exactly. I was ex I was exposed to what's going on in order to make black men um, to make black men uh, get convicted. Mm -hmm. I mean, there are actually things going on way behind the scenes. So I began to be I began to do research and more and more research, and I was like, wow. And I have some things that, um, I don't know, maybe they're going to call me a whistleblower or they're going to call me a whatever, but I'm, well, I, this is information that has to go out. And now it's also hit my own family, mm -hmm. you know, and I see it and I said, I'll be darned. There it is. There it is. There it is. And once you know what they're doing, I mean, we see what they're doing, mm -hmm. right? but there's, there's more to it. Mm -hmm. And our kids don't know. And so when they get arrested, like, you know, here, here are your Miranda rights. That's a, they they get around it. Mm -hmm. They get around the Miranda rights, right. mm -hmm. you know, in in very uh, interesting ways. Mm -hmm. And so we think everything is legal eagle. Well, that, that's but about my rights. I'm going to explain um, what's going on. I know it's not going to be popular, mm -hmm. but it's something that has to be done because I've done prison work mm -hmm. for over half my life. Mm -hmm. You know, right, right, right. And I remember. And so now this is really coming to the forefront and it's information that I'm going to soon it'll be I, sh I plan to be finished um, no later than September okay uh, I plan to get it out to, to everybody so they can have the inf everybody needs this information well you know here you have not only a friend here but you have a platform yes so you do absolutely. whenever you uh, decide you want to share more detail with us, whether it's call in, Skype, or coming into the studio. You know, you're you're welcome. You know, you're Thank welcome you. to do. May, may I just say this? Mm -hmm. sure. Moving lips sink ships. That's true. And if I could say anything to kids out there, mm -hmm. these kids that get arrested, shut mm -hmm. your mouth. Exactly. Shut That's what I always mouth. say. And you know, did you see the movie The Thirteenth that Ava DuVernay? Yes. Okay, the documentary. Yes. I just saw that for the first time, and it broke my heart, and it really moved <laughs> yes. me from that moment until now because it opens up with our president, our past president, Barack Obama speaking, and he's saying we're mm -hmm. only 5% of the whole world population, yet 40% yes. 
of black and brown people are incarcerated. This is a business. Yes. They can't be in business and make money unless they have our literal sons and daughters That's in right. their system. That's right. And so for BB to touch on this is giving me a cold chill right now because this is this is monumental. Yes. I mean it's 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 out of the it's out of the atmosphere of the type of time and effort that has been put into making this whole system it's work slavery. and continue to run. Yes. So what we're going to do is we're going to take more time with BB and with other people that are familiar with this subject and we're really going to we're really going to take some time to get the information out because we think each and every one of you need to know because it makes a difference in all of our lives. I met a young man today I was introduced while I was at the repast to a woman and she said that her husband had been incarcerated for 27 years and he was standing there. He mm. went. To, he was in prison for. Tw wow. I met him today, mm -hmm. and it just gives me a cold chill wow. over my body because to think about twenty-seven years mm -hmm. incarceration. But the beautiful thing is that he made it out. He was there today, standing with his wife, who had been committed to him throughout this time. Mm -hmm. So this is a. This is a. This is a hot subject yes. topic mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. I believe that we're going to be able to really um, get some information out there. And mm -hmm. I just look forward to more conversation on that with okay. BB and well, you all, the listeners. I will say this. It's long been an issue for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, people don't have a clue oh my God. on what this thing is all about. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, with the day of the Internet and everything else, we don't have the time to really go through it. We only have a few minutes left, but I'll say this to you. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot of things that's going on. When you talked about poverty, when you talked about people that don't have that $50, $100 at the end of the month, it, it not only puts the person in a position personally, but it puts them in a position through the system. It's, it's not so much that they know what's in your pocket, but they do know what's in your pocket by through your behavior in some cases. Yes. Kids don't think things through. Mm -hmm. But it's basically systemic. Okay. You know, so. yeah. Well, uh, what I'm simply saying to you is this is the Raymond Hall Show, and the Raymond Hall Show is all about service, and yes, as you is. know what it's about, it's a different conversation. The service of you speaks differently from what the talk of you says. We can all talk and we can, if we do it long enough, we can talk a good talk. But what does your work say? The young man that went home today, he's through talking. His work now has to speak for him, whatever he did. So we want to thank each and every one of you for viewing in. We want to thank B.B. for putting you, herself Bibi. aside with all the things she had to go thank on to you. come into the studio to share with you. Pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. There is no do-overs. The people talk this about eternal life. Rehearsal. Let me tell you something. The eternal life that talking about is the consciousness that's left of you mm. okay when you have a consciousness to this earth and you are called to do what you are called to do through service and you do that your consciousness on the other side is going to be at a different state than if you have a consciousness i wish i would have could have should have listened and i didn't do nothing mm. Have some service in your life. This is Raymond Hall with the Raymond Hall Show saying thank you again to Miss B.B. Angola for everything that all you've done all of your life. And thanking thank my co-host, Miss Erica Flynn Walker, for thank everything so she much. does. And I'm going to leave the last word to these two ladies because I'm bowing out. Okay, I'd just like to say thank you for all of our listening audience. Tune in next week at this same time at the Raymond Hall Show. You can also... Uh, go to Facebook and uh, like us and leave any comments or questions that you may have. And again, thank you to Miss BB for joining yeah. our our uh, table today. And um, how do we get in touch with you, BB? You. What contact information you want to leave, if any? Oh, you can just uh, email me at gentlepin91 at okay. gmail dot com. Okay. And right after my um, my things are finally copywritten, I'd love to come back and spill the beans and tell you. We love, to have you back, we love Bibi. to have we you back. We look forward to it. And we didn't get a chance to get around to BB's book, The Gentle Red Pen, but we will have some information up on our uh, Facebook page. And again, we look forward to seeing you next time. This is the Raymond Hall Show. My name is Erica Flynn Walker. Good afternoon and have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye. <laughs>